Hi, in this slide I just want to highlight the very first F, which is that when we go and innovate and make things better for the world, starting with ourselves, our team, and so forth, we're going to fail. So uh, that's just part of learning and mastery. Uh, hopefully most of these ideas you've heard before, but repetition is the mother of learning, so let's do it. Um, I've said often before in clips that no one does anything, this is a key concept, worthwhile perfectly the first time. So worthwhile things are, are bigger than, you know, fine tuning in the past kind of stuff. And then when we do it, even if we have a, a, a bit of success to say, well, let's measure exactly what's going on, we can find that that, that measure of success, that increment of success all by itself is not black belt 10th degree. In other words, there's a lot of continuous improvement opportunity on some new uh, space we've opened. So let's make sure that we don't just succeed, we stick with it and, 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 and sort of get the maximum amount of uh, juice or opportunity out of that, uh, uh, that success event, if you will. Uh, second key point here is when we fail, it's an event, it's not me. So we can't take this personally, everybody has to fail forward type of thing. Third thing is, is that we're, we're gonna make what we call good mistakes and we want to be confident good mistake makers because we are so good at designing experiments that are so small in resource betting that the tuition we're paying, X, is far less than the minimum amount that we can learn from doing experiment. So right away, right away we know we're going to be learning ahead for what we're doing and we'll take that learning and reinvest it back in the wheel of learning to come up with the next generation of experiments to do. Uh, so from a, just a human love viewpoint, no matter what happens tomorrow on this experiment, uh, you as an individual will still be loved by the rest of us, so go ahead and do it and why not try it with relaxed open eyes. And I will close with a little story. Uh, I have a wonderful son and daughter, uh, and my daughter was in second grade playing Parks and Rec softball, and she got up to hit in the last, the bottom of the last inning, and her team was trailing by a lot of runs. The bases were loaded, there were two outs, and atypically, she actually struck out. She was pretty good at just kind of bunting the ball down the third baseline and getting on first base. And afterwards, she was obviously distraught, and I just said, I am so glad that you had this opportunity. She said, what do you mean, Dad? I just struck out with the bases loaded and ended the game. And they had, you know, scored a few runs. And I, I said, well, look, first of all, if you'd hit a grand slam home run, four runs would come in, you'd still be two runs behind, and the two girls behind you were automatic outs. They've not, not got a hit all season. So that would have ended the rally. You wouldn't have won the game. And in the cosmic sweep of things, it isn't a big deal and so forth. So we talked about really, I gave her perspective and let her realize that tomorrow, you know, nothing really changed. Everybody was going to love her and nobody really on the other team would even remember what the name of the other team was or the final score was, let alone who was the girl struck out type of thing. So it was a, a perspective building. I said, and what's important is you will come to these kinds of situations, these false uh, you know, do or die moments in the future. And you'll say, oh my gosh, I'm in Parks and Rec's basketball and I've got fouled at the buzzer and I'm on the line and it's one and one. And if I make the first shot, we tie. If I make the second shot, I win the game. But if I miss, we lose and I'm the goat. And you'll say, wait a minute, I've been here before and whether I make it or not, it doesn't really matter. So the I, what I can do then is just relax focus on inputs, which increases the odds that maybe I'll make the first basket. And if I do, it's great. If I don't, well, that's great too. It's all good. So the ability to learn how to fail and not take it personally, and that allows us to relax, uh, have fun, do it with open eyes. And that all that does is increase the amount of learning we get for the tuition we pay. End of that sermon on failing. Thank you.